All right, good morning. It is the next day. I was able to get the saw. So have that, a few extra batteries. I'm ready to roll this morning. Um, all the wood is divided up into um, what it's used for, or at least set up for what it's used for, or being used for. All the boards are now labeled and organized. Um, now I just need to go through and trim up some stuff. Uh, once I make those trim cuts, I'll start doing the um, like the actual lineup or the actual fitment in the rover, <sighs> and then make any more minor adjustments that I might have to do um, after that. So, yep, it's from out this morning. So this is uh, day three. Picked up the wood three days ago. Yesterday I organized everything and then today is gonna be technically day one of actual working on it. But it's technically day three. Pretty excited, I'm tired. I just woke up like ten minutes ago. So um, weather looks like it's gonna start turning. So hopefully they'll get at least a little bit done this morning. Um, in between weather. And uh, I don't really wanna go cut in the actual garage because I don't want to make a mess. So so that's plan. All right, about to officially make my uh, first cut. So here we go. Uh, first time sawing too, by the way. So. the table and halfway through my cut. So that's pretty good. Measurement, make sure. Perfect. I right, made a cut about half the boards already. Um, I think I got probably about three or four more boards to cut. Um, uh, maybe a couple more to trim up on top of that, but uh, yeah, got my setup right here. Uh, I'm not necessarily filming this. I'm going in and out of the uh, sunroom a lot, and it's kind of a bit of a walk. And I'm bringing the saw back in and back out with me because I'm not leaving it out. Um, I'm doing my measurements and stuff. But if you can see behind me, I'm a little focus. Uh, we got a storm building up uh, behind me, so it's going to probably come down a little bit. So hopefully, I'll be able to get the rest of these cuts done before that comes over here. Um, you can see I'm sweating absolute nuggets right now. It is so hot out right now. Um, it's probably about 11 o'clock, so getting into the heat of the day. But yeah, so that's what's going on right now. All right, I'm gonna be getting caught in the rain, so it came to kind of a screeching halt on cutting. Um, so I was able to get a lot of the boards cut. Um, just a second, I'll flip the camera and show you guys what is done so far, or at least hopefully done in terms of fitment. Uh, drill battery was dying anyway, so I think it's uh, time to plug that in. So I'll charge that while it's raining and hopefully when the rain kind of slows down or um, stops, I'll be able to get back out there and finish cutting. I got uh, four, five more boards to check measurements on and uh, do some final trimming on those. Um, so far, everything's done uh, really well. Haven't messed anything up yet. So that was pretty good. Um, so now it's gonna be a matter of, uh, does it actually fit the way that I had measured it out originally? And then if there's gonna be any more adjustments or anything that I'm gonna have to make, but not a big deal. So um, this is what's done already, all these pieces here and then these two on the table now um so yeah um i think i got the drawers are the last thing you got to make so that's going to be stuff for the drawers and then uh those are the backs of the drawers and there's a small piece back there and that's going to get cut in half and that should be about it uh, i haven't been filming much as for actually cutting the wood um i mean obviously most of you guys probably know how to cut wood and if not not that hard, um, but I'm not gonna sit there and try and reset up the camera and stuff. Um, I have neighbors, so I'm not leaving the the, uh, the saw out and I'm not leaving like the cutting tools and everything out. So I'm kind of moving those in and out of the sun room as I go and measure and stuff. So that's why I don't have uh, the camera going constantly on this. 
Um, when it comes to fitment and stuff and actually setting up the truck, I'll probably do a lot more filming on that, but I'm not gonna sit there and film like me cutting uh, pieces of wood. So, uh, so that's pretty much that. So rain's coming down. and So this is what we're uh, dealing with. At least my truck's getting a bath because uh, I gave it a bath the other day and then took it out to uh, the WMA that was used to film the beginning of this video and uh, it got all dirty. So now it's getting cleaned and that's good. So it's supposed to go on the beach later today. I don't know if that's gonna happen either. Yeah, guys. Good stuff. Rain has officially stopped, so I'm heading back out again to continue working on the drawer system today. So, got the seats moved back forward, and I'm going to open up all the drawers so it cools out on the inside of the truck because it's so hot outside still. So I'm gonna fit up the bottom plate because I cut the notches out. I was talking about yesterday for these, um, these kind of humps in here. So cut the bottom plate out for those. Hopefully that'll fit. Um, once that's fitted, I'm gonna make sure it's sitting right and then I'm gonna do measurements for these holes here so I can drill those out. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get new screws for that. So that way I can still set it and bolt it down because these ones I do not think are gonna be long enough um, I do plan on spot facing the wood, um, but these screws have that chamfer on them and I don't think that's going to work for me. So we'll see. Um, like I said, I might have to just order some new ones. All right, I fell in with the iPhone today because I just haven't had a chance to get the actual camera out. Um, ran to the hardware store today, picked up the new bolts for mounting the bottom plate. Um, those, the ones I ended up getting were M8, uh, I want to say they're inch and a quarter long. Uh, metric bolts so I was able to find those um, had to do a little bit of adjustments on the holes to make make sure they fit in the or fit perfectly or whatever but I just uh, um, did a mock fit up and actually fastened it down uh, worked pretty good so that is good to go um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and line up the um, uh, supports and the sides and then uh, go ahead and uh, measure those out and I guess prepare to build this thing outside of the truck. Um, that's kind of my goal for tonight. I might make a couple cuts of wood today just for that uh, support bracket on the back. Um, but I think I'm gonna focus today on just getting the sides exactly where I want them. Um, so that way I can measure out the drawers. So, uh, so old drawer width used to be um, 20 inches, which I have cut out here. So it used to be 20 inches thick. Uh, now with the adjustments to this uh, section that I added, um, the new drawer width is gonna be about 17 inches wide. So lost about three inches per drawer. Um, by the looks of it, it's still a pretty, pretty dang big drawer, so I'm not, uh, not upset about it at all. Um, I did lose about two inches of depth, so I did lose a good bit of space, but overall this is still a fairly good size storage area, so I'm not super upset about it. Uh, besides, I do get these little cubbies here, um, kind of to store stuff as well. So I'm not, not too, not too upset. Back at it again today. It is Tuesday. Um, did not work on the drawer system Sunday. Uh, went mountain biking instead. Um, also did not work on it much yesterday. I got started. Did the board mounted in the back, the backboard or the bottom board mounted in the back. And then uh, that was about as far as I got yesterday. Didn't have the right screws. Started to get a little frustrated and stuff, trying to get stuff done. And ended up just uh, deciding to call it quits yesterday. So uh, picking back up today. Goal for today is to get the sides mounted on there. And the top plate and the back plate mounted up. So everything is going to hopefully be screwed in together on that plate for the most of the box. Uh, this is the backboard installed. So now that that's installed, I can do the shelves or the uh, sides, the supports. So that's next. Yep. Uh, the boards, sideboards are now drilled into the backboard. Um, so I'm gonna tip this up and drill in from the bottom. After I drilled in from the bottom, um, I'm gonna put it in the truck mount it up where I want it to go and then I'm going to install the top plate and have it positioned perfectly where I want it and then um, I'm going to drill it 
while it's in the truck so that way um, I don't misalign the top board with anything. So install of this part. Um, I do not have it bolted down. Um, I did have it bolted down. The holes that those mount into are, I guess, messed up and it's just screwing up the bolts. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about that just yet. But I'm beginning to think that I might actually lose this, leave this cabinet pretty loose. Because once everything's closed up, it's actually going to lock down um, using this. This is actually pressing up against it. So that's actually gonna press um, press this cabinet piece down, I guess. And then if the seats are up, that's gonna hold it down too. Might consider uh, permanent mounting options later, but the plus side to having this not mounted down is access to the underside of this, where the spare tire is. Uh, plus side is access to the other side of this so I can lift this up and access underneath to the spare tire or slide it forward um, need be in case of emergency. Uh, downside is my spare tire is completely useless because I'm running 275 55 uh, 20s which are too big for the 19 inch spare room that comes on this truck anyways. But having that cargo space available, let me show you real quick, slide forward, no problem, fold up. Having this space accessible would actually be kind of nice because I believe I can pull this foam piece out and then I'll have uh, tool storage. Um, I could even do like first aid storage or um, kind of like a worst case scenario pack or something or other that I can store there. I was even thinking about looking at doing like a water tank down there um, with like a usable spigot that would run through uh, the spare tire mount once I take that out. Um, but that's kind of all up in the air. I haven't even looked into taking that out, but I'd imagine it's just pulling these back out, pulling that foam piece out, and then just getting some uh, cargo containers to store down there. So I think that'd be pretty easy. And honestly, I could even probably just remove that because that bottom board has enough support. It should be wide enough. I can't pull it. The next thing I've got to do is mount the uh, back the back piece here so this right here is going to hold the supports which are going to be the bed frame it's going to be a fold out um, almost like an x so it's going to v out on both sides meet in the middle and then um, both of the boards are going to be like 22 inches long or something like that v out and it's going to connect to another board that size it's going to sit about here and then the rest of the bed is going to mount here so i have all the hinges and stuff to do that I'm definitely going to work on that before i get into um making the drawers. I feel like the drawers are probably going to be last because I think I'm going to have to probably disassemble this whole thing in order to install the drawers, but I'm not too sure. I'm doing a step at a time, I guess. And uh, I do think this is all going to come apart anyways because I'm either going to um, take the top plate off and L-bracket everything for some reinforcement, although it's pretty dang steady. I don't think that's going anywhere. Um, or I might... Uh, pull it out to resurface it so that way it stays nice and fresh all right i'm um, done for today uh, so i ran into another snag so i'm using door hinges for the fold outs and everything um i think i'm gonna switch to piano hinges for the main bed frame uh because they are too far spaced um however uh, I think they are going to work for the foldouts because they have a lot of play in them. So it allows me to kind of wiggle them around over the sh seats and stuff just fine. The problem is, is it came with this black screw and it's, I don't know if it'll focus. it's too long. It actually sticks out of the back of the box and would stick out um, uh, past the plates that I'm putting it in. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to go try and find some smaller screws tomorrow. Um, I tried these wood screws that I picked up and uh, those are a definite no. The uh, heads on them stick out because they're not chamfered down flat um, in the recesses for the door frame piece. So they stick out too far, which causes it to not work also. I'm going to check out piano, uh, piano hinges for both anyways and just see if that would work. Um, yeah, I don't really know. So that's where I'm at. So I'm going to go check those out tomorrow on my way home and uh, see what I can do on that note. Um, after I get those hinges, I'll be able to build out the rest of the... Uh, the rest of the fold out and once I get the fold out done I'll be able to put out the bed platform fold out but that's it for today um, this is in here this is staying in here tonight I'm going to drive with it to work tomorrow so